So it's a wet and cold night. Um, I'm using my phone for this, so you have to excuse the video quality. But thought I'd quickly show you this. This is um, my solar light for my garage, or well, my shed, sorry. Um, so it's using 18650s and on a PIR little sensor. So if I flick across to this angle here, you'll see a couple of, or well, three old cells that are one point, or just over an amp hour. Um, and then a PIR that's on a two minute sensor, so it'll stay on for a couple of minutes, which is really all I need. Um, hardly ever out in the, in the shed. Um, but it's, it's, ex it's so extremely handy, um, it's not funny. It's, um, I have a few boxes of um, cables and, and bits and pieces and, and old computer stuff. Um, and just having a light in the shed is just fantastic. So using some of these old um, 18650s, they do have a use. Um, this has been running for about three months now. Absolutely fantastic. It's just got a single solar cell on top of the, uh, oh, sorry, on top of the shed. I'll just quickly go out of the shed. Um, and if I come along to here, on top of the roof. So yeah, it's just a single uh, 12 volt solar cell, nothing fancy, I probably should have a, um, a little um, DC to DC converter on it, just to, um, but at the end of the day though, it's, it's keeping these three, cell, uh, these, yeah, three cells charged, and, um, and realistically it's, it's on for two minutes, you know, once a week or so. Um, so it, it can easily keep these um, these cells charged and they're low capacity anyway um, So yeah, and the LEDs I've used is um, I'll put a link in the description below, but it's um, five meters of LEDs they come in an LED strip and I, I've stuck them to a, a Piece of wood that I painted black and then I uh, riveted that to the um, the roof of the shed so that way it sits on its own um, because the, the top of the shed will get to um, 50 degrees in the summertime or even hotter. So you want to have it just off that. And I used a piece of wood and then obviously um, strip, uh, LED strips. So it's one continuous five meter length. And it's pretty much just um, twisted around at the, the back here. As you can see. And then it follows back through. Um, and yeah, you can just keep linking them together, but it's a five, uh, it's a five meter strip, 12 volts. Um, great use of old um, 18650s. And um, it does have a little um, BMS in there. Um, it's just a three cell BMS, um, one off AliExpress. I can link that to the description below as well. And a PIR sensor, 12 volt PIR sensor. I think it's 12 and 24 volts, and it's just set on a two minute timer which is all I need um, but as you can see this shed is plenty light um, as soon as the camera refocuses there we go you'll see how bright it is quite bright in here um, and you know going away from the shed you're, it's just it's fantastic um, best thing I did um, for the shed anyway it's just so surprising how often you come out here and it's pitch black after work and this makes it so usable. So I need to give it a bit of a clean up, I need to um, fix that cable that's dangling down, maybe put it into a little box, make it look a bit nicer. But it's been running for about three months now, absolutely perfect. And um, yeah, no issues at all. So good idea to use, um, good idea with um, older 18650s, and um, it's nice and simple to make. Um, and yeah, it does the job. So, and I've got quite a pile of these old ones now. So yeah, it's, um, so why not use them? So that's um, signing, Michael signing off again. And um, just thought I'd quickly show you that. It was a bit of fun.